Hello students. Today I am going to start the new subject in your 4-1 semester that is cryptography and network security. Right. Dear students, this is the very very useful subject. What is the cryptography and network security? What is the use of this subject? What, what are the benefits to know the cryptography and network security? Right. Today, there are so many applications. There are so many operations we are performing through the computers in the world. Particularly in the communications we are using the computers. Suppose if a person wanted to share some information to others, he can use the computer networks. Okay. He is using the internet for uh, sending his emails, his information or whatever the data he contains to others. Right students, yes, we are sending the valuable information and the confidential information and uh, sometimes it is very very confidential information related to the nation related to the security our that's why we need to check the what is the level of security when we are transferring the data through the communication channels through the internet that's very very important thing is there any security for our data yes for that cryptography and network security this subject it provides the valuable information it provides it explains more number of techniques more number of principles for the secure transmission of the data so it is very very useful subject Uh, in the past unit, there are different topics, security goals, what are the different security goals, what is the cryptographic attacks, what are the different services and mechanisms provided for securing the data, what are the mathematics of the cryptography. Okay, before going to this, what is the network security? Network security consists of the provisions and policies adopted by the network administrator to prevent and monitor the unauthorized accesses, misuses, modifications or denial of computer network and network accessible resources. Yes, this is the network security. Okay. It contains different policies, different services, different mechanisms to apply for 
monitoring and preventing the unauthorized access of our data. Suppose if a person sending a confidential data to another person that should not be received by some other person that should not be attacked or uh, taken by the other person, unauthorized person. If unauthorized person try to access our confidential data and it allows to access that data by the unauthorized person, it is very, very dangerous. That's why the network administrators are using different pro policies and mechanism services provided by the net network security. Right. What is the cryptography? Cryptography is the study of secure communications techniques. It is the study of secure communication techniques that allows only the sender and intended recipient of the message to view its contents. That means no third party or it should not allow the unauthorized person or hacker or attacker. It should not allow the unauthorized person to access our data. Only the sender and intended recipient should receive its, should view its contents. So, cryptography is the study of secure communication techniques. It is the study of secure communication techniques. The term derived from the Greek word cryptography, the term derived from the crypto, the term derived from the Greek word cryptos, which means hidden. Cryptos means hidden. Graphy means written. That means we are hiding at the time of sending the data, we are hiding the actual text. Actually, this is the a model for network security. Model for network security. Assume here is the sender and here is the recipient. Suppose if a sender send, wants to send a message, if a sender wants to send some message, right? Before going to the communication channel that message should be added with some secret information for uh, hiding the actual data then that is that becomes after adding some secret information our actual text or actual message becomes the secure message then send the secure message through the information channel. At the receiver side, recipient's end, he received the secured message. Okay. Before view his uh, secured message, actual data, the secured message should be changed into the actual text, actual message by using some secret information. The secret, uh, the secure message can be changed to the actual message by using some secure message. That message will be received by the recipient. For that purpose, we are using some third party for the entire communication. We are using a trusted third party that may be arbiter or distributor of secret informations. 
Now, what are the different terminologies used in the network security? First, plain text. Plain text is nothing but the original message. Whatever the sender sends the original message, that is the original message he is sending. What is the cipher text? The, cipher, the original message should be converted into some secret message, some coded message by using some techniques, by adding some secret information, by using it should be converted into some secured message, secret message. That the secret message, that coded message is called cipher text. What is the cipher? The cipher, it is nothing but the algorithms for transforming plain text to cipher text. That for converting the plain text into the cipher text, we need some algorithms, we need some programs. Those algorithms are called ciphers. Key. What is the key? Here it is very very important thing. Key is some information used in cipher known only to the sender and receiver. It is some sick, it is some secret message. It is some additional information adding to the plain text that converts to the cipher text. Encrypt. What is the encrypt or encipher? Converting plain text to cipher text. It is the process of encryption is the process of converting the plain text to the cipher text. It generally it can be done at the sender side. Decipher. This is nothing but the decryption. This is the recovering cipher text from plain text. Recovering cipher text from plain text. This is the converting the cipher text to the plain text. Generally, this is done at receiver side. Cryptography. What is the cryptography? This is nothing but the study of encryption principles and policies and methods. Crypt analysis. This is the code breaking. The study of principles methods of deciphering ciphertext without knowing the key. That means the this can be used by the unauthorized persons, the attackers. Cryptology, the field of both cryptography and cryptanalysis, cryptography and cryptanalysis, the both combined is called cryptology. Now, the conventional form of the cryptography is here. The plain text input is the at sender side. The plain text output is at a receiver side, recipient side. Now, the plain text, assuming it is the X, plain text X is going to transmit it. Before transmitting that X or plain text to the channel, it should be encrypted by using some secret key should be encrypted by using some secret key for that purpose we are using some encryption algorithms example aes okay this encryption algorithm will convert the plain text into the cipher text by using some key by adding some key by adding some key to the x it encrypts our plain text into the cipher text. That cipher text is the secret text. Our actual data is hidden in that cipher text. Now, that cipher text is transmitted. 
so assume that ciphertext is assumed as y y what is the y it is a ciphertext how to form the ciphertext by using encryption we combined the key with the x plain text now ciphertext is transmitted to the recipient end at the recipient end before receiving the recipient it should be decrypted that means the cyber text should be converted into the plain text okay for that purpose at the recipient end we are using some decryption algorithms that decryption algorithm converts the cyber text into the plain text by using some secret key which is known by the recipient and the sender only so here very very important thing is the key information is known by only sender and receiver no other person is not no other person is known that information key information so at the recipient end the decryption algorithm using some secret key it transfers the cipher text y into the plain text x now see here we obtained the x plain text obtained the plain text x how we are getting the plain text plain text is nothing but after the decryption of y using the key we will we will get the x now the recipient receives the plain text and he use he access it now come to the topic security goals what are the different security goals what are our goals our security goals here mainly there are three security goals very very important goals the data confidentiality data integrity and the system availability our goal is how we are sending the confidential data how we are sending the data without uh, uh, disturbing the integrity okay there are security three security goals what is the meaning of the data confidentiality yes here we are sending no doubt we are sending the confidential data from one place to one person to another person through the internet the data is should be the confidential suppose if the data is uh, accessed by some unauthorized person in between the sender and the receiver and uh, he knows our uh, information he knows our secrets he know our confidential data so our goal is that the data should be secret the data should not be accessed by unauthorized person that is our goal so data confidentiality means keep the data and the communication secret keep the data and the communication secret privacy of personal financial health records and etc military and commercial relevance data this is very very confidential data integrity means protect reliability of data against tampering that means a sender sending some information to other person before receiving the data suppose the unauthorized person access the data and uh, modifies 
or tampers that data modify the content and send back to the receiver the receiver receives the data with some alterations actually he did not receive the actual content maybe it is very uh, problematic suppose if a person send a message uh, with uh, a person send a message with uh, the so and so person is very well his health condition is good this is the message but that message before receiving by the recipient that message received by the unauthorized access person and uh, modified that message as the so and so person is his health is very dangerous now that message received by the recipient he received the altered data he may assume the person health is very dangerous like that here the data should be received as teased by the recipient whatever the sent by the sender that is the integrity It should not be altered data should not be modified can we be sure of the source and content of information that is the data integrity system availability means the data should be accessible when needed whenever the recipient wants to access that should be available that is the system availability now the next topic is cryptographic attacks what is the cryptographic attack 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 is nothing but accessing of data by unauthorized person in the communication accessing of data by unauthorized person is called the attack attack by some unauthorized person generally these attacks are two types passive attack and active attack one is passive attack and another is active attack here passive attack passive attacks means the unauthorized person just he is watching our data he receives our data and just he can read that data he, he cannot modify he is not modify anything but he is just have a look on our data that means he is enjoying with our data he is reading our secrets but he is not uh, alter or modification any data the attack those type of attack is called passive attack the attacker's goal is just to obtain the information that's it the attacker's goal is just to obtain the information this means that the attack does not modify the data or harm the system simply he is watching our data he is observing our data and enjoying with our secret data that is that type of attack is called passive attack actually passive attacks it is it is very difficult to find out the passive attacks because the sender and receivers recipients don't know somebody is 
observing our data. If the data is modified, if the recipient modifies, uh, the, uh, if the recipient receives some modified data, maybe he can find out somebody is modified. But here data is received as it is by the recipient. That's why this type of attacks are uh, uh, difficult to find out. The second type of uh, attack is active attack. An active attack may change the data or harm the system. The attack, the active attack may change or modify the data. Here, the attacker receives our data and uh, send the modified data to the recipient. So here, see the two examples, passive attack. For example, Bob is the sender, Alice is the receiver. Here, hacker is in the middle. Bob is uh, sending some messages through the internet to the Alice. The same message is obtained by the hacker. He is just using the data. That's it. He didn't. He, he did not modify the data. The passive attack just obtain the information, access our data. He, he does not modify our data. Active attack means, for example, Lily is the sender. He is sending some data to the John. Okay, the data which is obtained by the Bob and modifies the message and uh, on sent to the John modified data will be sent uh, to the John John receives the modified data that is the active attack <coughs> attacks passive attacks means they are interception the data there are two types of passive attacks release of message content traffic analysis active attacks are masquerade one type replay modifications denial of services passive attacks are two types release of message content and the second is the traffic analysis then active attacks are four masquerade replay modification denial of service See the passive attacks. What is the meaning of the release of message content? In this case, just the another agent person just captures our data and read the content transmission. He is enjoying with our data. That's it. Actually, he doesn't uh, modify his data. For example, Bob is sending some information to the Alice through internet. This data is read by the dark. Just he reads the data and enjoying the data. So, just obtain the data and uh, read our content without to, uh, modification. That is called release of message content. The, what is the meaning of the traffic analysis? So, traffic analysis means, okay, we are using some secure, assume we are using some secure techniques for our data, which is not understood by the attacker. In that case also, actually the attacker, the another person is uh, unable to read our data, unable to obtain the data. In that case, it is possible just he is observing our traffic flow. That means what is the frequency of data sending, how many times we are sending, what, uh, how length of message we are sending that uh, traffic uh, analysis can be done by the attacker by using uh, his uh, by using this knowledge traffic analysis knowledge he may find out 
who is the sender who is the recipient and uh, what are the ip addresses of the sender and uh, by using the frequency of the data transmission he may know he may assume the data transmission that is called traffic analysis in both cases data is not modified the active attacks are four types masquerade masquerade means masquerading or snooping happens when the attacker impersonates somebody else that means the attacker actually sender is there recipient is there in between attacker is there the attacker is sending his own message in the name of the sender for example here actually the sender is bob this sender is alice bob need bob is sending the data to the alice but with the name of the bob the dar is sending his data in the name of the bob to alice bob, alice assumes the data is sent by the bob that is the impersonate type of attack masquerading impersonate he is sending his own message in the name of the sender bob replay means the attacker obtains a copy of a message sent by a user and later tries to replay it that means example bob is sending some message to the alice through the internet that message is obtained by the dot in between and after some time he is sending the same message with the name of the bob to the alice he is sending repeatedly the same message to the alice alice uh, is assuming the same message is, the message is sent by the bob so many times that is the replay modification what is the modification the attacker after interpreting or accessing information the attacker modifies the information then sent to the receiver the modified information is sent for example bob is sending some message that message is received by the dart and modifies it and modified data is going to the alice the alice actually is not receiving the actual data he receives the modified data but he don't know the fourth one is the denial of service denial of service means here the attacker actually he is not receiving our our uh, is not receiving our uh, information he is not modifying our information but he is crashing or interrupting the services provided to the transmission or communication by the server actually assume some server is there which is providing some services to the bob and alice for transmitting the information the another is a person he is trying to disturb the services provided by the server that means maybe he crashed the system he crashes the system that is the denial of service okay these cryptographic attacks are, are also categorized as crypt analytic crypto analytic non crypto analytic crypto analytic means these attacks are combinations of statistical and algebraic techniques aimed to discover the secret key of the cipher here the another is person he is using his own algorithms is using his own techniques for getting the secret key information by using some algorithms some his own algorithms he tried to get the secret key information then he obtains our data and modifies our data he is uh, sometimes 
he uses some guessings on our data suppose if one guess is success then he obtain the data if the guess fails he try another guess and uh, yes by guess guess by he is trying the trying to obtain our data our secret key by using his guesses that is called cryptanalytic non cryptanalytic the other types of attacks are non cryptanalytic attacks which do not explain the mathematical weakness of the cryptal terms okay these are another type of crypt attacks